Hello everyone. In this lesson, we'll be discussing about abductive arguments. What are abductive arguments? Abductive arguments are arguments which predict the conclusion based on the available information. The available information may be an incomplete information. Let's try to understand abductive arguments with the help of few examples. Let's say you have the following symptoms. Cold, cough, running nose, fever, aching body, etc. You have these symptoms continuously for three days. So what can you conclude with this available information? You may conclude that you are having some kind of flu. But how did you arrive at this conclusion? You have just taken into account the available information at hand and then you gave the best prediction. That's why abductive arguments always take into account the available information and then gives the best prediction. Let's take one more example. Let's say you locked your house and went to school. By the time you came back home, surprisingly, you found that the lock is opened. Few things from the table have fallen down. So what can you conclude with this available information? You may say that some kind of theft has happened. But how did you arrive at this conclusion? You have just taken into account the available observations and then you gave the best prediction. In standard logic, we have three types of reasoning available. Deductive reasoning, inductive reasoning, and then abductive reasoning. In deductive reasoning, the reasoning always moves from general case to specific case, and the conclusion is always true. Whereas in inductive reasoning, the reasoning always moves from specific case to general case, and the conclusion might be true or might not be true. But coming to abductive reasoning, based on the available information, best prediction is given. So in this case also, the conclusion may be true or may not be true. Let us try to understand this distinction with the help of an example. First, let us observe deductive arguments. All men are mortal. Socrates is a man. Therefore, Socrates is mortal. In this deductive argument, we can see the conclusion can be logically inferred from the given two premises. Hence, the conclusion is always true. That is why deductive arguments are called as valid arguments. But when we analyze the reasoning process in deductive arguments, it moves from general case to specific case. When we look at premise 1, it says all men are mortal, which is a general case. And premise 2, Socrates is a man, it is a specific case, because it is talking about Socrates. And when we look at the conclusion, it says Socrates is mortal, which is a specific case, because it is about Socrates. Now let's observe inductive arguments. Socrates is a man. Socrates is mortal. Therefore, all men are mortal. In this inductive argument, we can observe the conclusion cannot be logically inferred from the given two premises. That is why in inductive arguments, the conclusion may be true or may not be true. But when we observe the reasoning process in inductive arguments, it moves from specific case to general case. When we look at premise 1 and premise 2, these two premises are talking about Socrates, which is a specific case belonging to Socrates. But when we look at the conclusion, it is a general case because it is talking about all men. Now let's look at abductive arguments. All men are mortal. Socrates is mortal. Therefore, Socrates is a man. When we look at this abductive argument, the conclusion cannot be logically inferred from the given two premises. That is why we say in abductive arguments, the conclusion may be true or may not be true. There is no guarantee that the conclusion is always true. But when we look at the reasoning process behind abductive arguments, 
it just takes into consideration the available information. In this case, premise 1 is all men are mortal and premise 2 is Socrates is mortal. Based on this available information, it just gave the best prediction that Socrates is a man. It's always important to remember that deductive arguments, they move from general case to specific case. And the conclusion is always true. And inductive reasoning moves from a specific case to general case. And the conclusion may be true or may not be true. Inductive arguments are intended to be strong arguments. But there is no guarantee that the conclusion is always true. And in the case of abductive reasoning, based on the available information, a best prediction is given. So in abductive reasoning, the conclusion is always a prediction. It can be the best prediction. So it may be true or may not be true.